here and there. It's not so bad. It could be worse. How? Worse how? Well, we've been downloaded. Please note the terminology. You are to be downloaded, not assigned or encouraged to inspire, but downloaded into the wreckage of someone's pizza strewn. Is this even a living room? Please note the sea of beer cans by the pizza vomit. It's two beer cans. Uh, downloadable. That's how we're conceived now by the powers that be. We're part of the gig economy. We're like something you can get through DoorDash or Uber Eats. Want to be inspired? We'll send you a bunch of muses, and you too might become a genius artist. The muses and their infinite abilities to pop up anywhere at any time will come to your place and make your pieces shine. Whatever crap you're working on. I think that's dog sick, not human vomit. I've played Carnegie Hall. I've trotted the boards of Broadway. I've whispered into the ears of comic geniuses. I've helped provoke gales, gales of laughter from audiences too full from the pre-show meals to do anything, let alone laugh. I've made theater snicks pee in their pants from jokes I've inspired. And where do I find myself now? Don't do that gesture with me. For the means of comedy, you can be a real sourpuss, you know that? I've been dumped into a wannabe actor's home. I've been sent to inspire an amateur with the emotional range of a flea. To be funny. And sad. Do you see me complaining about my tasks? Oh, please. When you're the muse of tragedy, you barely have to do anything. You can bore people to death and then tell them it's their fault for not understanding. And then, after boring them to death, they get browbeaten for being bored, whereas I'm on the racist edge of success. Or sucking very badly. None of that. It must be great art if we're not getting it. If I'm not understood, I get booed. I stock up on all the fruits and veggies from the things thrown at me. So let's be clear. It's the poor souls you fail to inspire who get booed. But it's my reputation that takes the hit. And excuse me, I don't fail if I'm giving nothing to work with. I can't make a silk purse from a sow's tenure. I'm an inspiration, not a magician. Nothing is more terrifying or sends me into deeper depression than being sent to open mics at comedy clubs. Oh, tragedy is so much more worthy of our attention than comedy when we both know I'm the one that gives more insight into the human condition. Let's not rehash that argument again. I'm just saying, it's not easy being me these days. Laughter's as hard to get as toilet paper used to be. Can we focus on the task at hand, please? You know she's in that bathroom crying, Wondering why she should even bother doing anything with the way things are. She's dangerously close to giving up on her dreams of acting and becoming a computer programmer. We have to reignite her first love and make her believe she can still be the storyteller she's always wanted to be. Or maybe we stay out of it and let her face the facts of her own, how do I put this, lack of talent? You don't know if she has any. We can't judge where her talents might take her in the real world until the real world starts functioning again. Yeah, but don't you feel it in her bones that she just might not be that good? You're so judgmental. There is such a thing as thinning out the hurt for the overall health of the hurt. No wonder the language of comedy is so violent. I knocked them dead. I killed it. I owned them. Try growing a heart for a change. I'm just sick of slumming it with these hacks. Work the funny bones of Shakespeare, for God's sakes. Shakespeare's comedies aren't that funny, by the way, no matter how many sexual innuendos you forced in there. Oh, she's coming. Now bring your full game. I mean it. I think she might actually hurt herself if we don't give her the encouragement she needs. Fine. What are we working with? That monologue she downloaded? Something else? Whatever she does, just double the dose of inspiration. Is that... Conky, did you so up? I told you it was dog vomit. I don't need vomit in my life right now. Why do you always throw up when I'm so crappy? Oh. Is this a way of 
showing empathy, sweetie? Are you trying to tell me you feel me? Is this like your objective correlative? Can't we just cuddle next time? Is she doing a bit? Are we supposed to start? I think she's just talking to the dog. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Okay, go. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Okay, good. Feel it. Listen to the words. Emote with pathos, but not too much. Lightly, like you're skipping a stone over water. Blah, blah, blah. So long as men can breathe and eyes can see. So long lives this and gives life to thee. Who am I kidding? Well, that bombed. Why didn't you come in from your end? You just stood there. It ain't a comic piece. That's all you. The sonnet has a wry sense about it. There's a hint of melancholia and wryness about it. Excuse me, I took text analysis. There's no humor anywhere in that sonnet. She was holding up dog vomit. Clearly, she wants there to be humor. She's dying for a laugh. And so am I. I suck so bad. 30,000 in debt. A useless degree. Todd was right. Was that it? The sonnet? Are we done? Can we leave? You know, I've noticed laughter around the world has gotten a lot edgier and darker. Maybe you could put back some of that compassion you used to put in laughs. You know, laughing with instead of at. I work with what I've got. If people are meaner, that's how it comes out. Okay, here we go. She's doing the monologue she downloaded. Did you get a chance to look at it? What's it about? We got this. Be prepared for anything. Uh-huh. She were right there for you to work with. Barely. And there. I think this is a funny piece. <laughs> These writers, I swear. No wonder actors are ready to call it quits with this kind of material. That didn't take long. Well, we can't work miracles. You either made us halfway or you spend the rest of your life in an uninspired mess. Sam, pick it up. I've had it. Pick it up. Try again. You have to try, Sam. Done. No, you're not. You haven't even started. Oh, look, there she goes. Maybe she's writing her own material. Even better. You see, just by being here, we can get her creative juices going. Dear mom and dad, I'm sorry to have been such a disappointment, and I'm sorry for what this will do to you. I know my actions will hurt you badly, and for that I'm sorriest of all, but I just can't. Mayday, Mayday, this is not a drill, this is, what is that? Is that another bit, is she pretending, or? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know this person well enough to know if she's capable of going from dog vomit to the cliff's edge in two clicks. Surely we wouldn't manifest if she was serious. We wouldn't be called out. We only appear for those ready to create. Not that. This has to be her playing a part. This can't be real. Tell her a joke. What? Distract her with something funny. That's not how I work. Do it. Why did the bird fly into the bar? 
Why? Why did the bird fly into the bar? I don't know. I haven't figured out the punchline yet. How did you get to be the muse of comedy? No wonder people are dying out there with the way you operate. First, the cataclysm of climate change, and now this, the death of comedy. Hey, Big Shot. Whisper something insightful and mournful so she marvels at the warm, beating heart of life and wants to live. Let's see how you do. Sam, listen to me. Yes, life is tragic and awful, and sometimes you wonder, why bother? But your place in the world, in all the suffering you see, in your own distress and agony is, well, that's, that's just the, uh, uh-huh, what, what you got? <laughs> all waiting for the muse of tragedy and their insights into the human condition. You know what? Now that's funny. Go to hell. Watching Tragedy Bomb? That's hilarious. The tragic muse is not supposed to offer bomb and comfort. That's your job. You come in when all seems hopeless. You just suck at your job. And you suck at yours. You wouldn't know humor if it pulled down your pants and gave you a banana peel to work with. If someone pulled down my pants and gave me a banana peel, I'd call the cops and have them registered as a sex offender. Terpsichore? What in Zeus's name are you doing here? All right, you two can leave. I'm taking over. That's who? You're being recalled. That's as delicately as I can put it. Listen, Sam, you don't want to do this. You know why? Your true hidden talents lie as a dancer. Yes, you're a dancer, my friend. You're like a suitor too fearful to approach your true love. Time to make your true passion to show the world what you've got. I'm fine. Now you're a dancer. And it's not just a side hustle. It's not, and yes, you are. I'm a dancer. Yes, damn right. So break out to move with me right now. I'm a dancer. Well, that's not fair. She was a dancer all along. No wonder we couldn't get through to her. You're being recalled. Indefinitely. The world can't handle the stark binaries you two offer. Tragedy and comedy are to be retired until further notice. It's dance, baby, and other muses on the block. Epic and love poetry, music, and me. We're gonna shake up the coming new world of joy. No more the harsh whiffs of the tragic or the cruel blows of comedy. Hate those and laughter, we'll put on the leotards from now on, or, and dance, or, uh, they can go fuck themselves. I really want to shoot them right now. Can we talk about this? Take it up with the boss, now. Get off my stage. Yes, that's it, Sam. Dance. Dance like the whole world's watching. Yes, yes. We'll be back. Lovely, Sam. Just lovely. I see a bright future for you. A bright, bright future. <laughs> <laughs>